to the Disney Connection. Each week, the Ask the Dishes crew will bring you one of our favorite Disney things and tell you why it exemplifies a Disney connection the way nothing else can. Aaron, it's your turn this week. What'd you bring for us? Okay, guys. Um, so I'm going to take y'all back in time a little bit. Uh, to the early 90s, or sorry, late 90s, early 2000s. Okay. Um, when right. I feel like uh, the Disney Channel was really hitting its stride. It kind of figured out what it was about. Um, it was divided into several different things, uh, including Playhouse Disney, Zoog Disney, which is interesting. and That went through uh, a couple of reboots. Yeah, it was it yeah. was weird, Zoog 2.0. Yeah, I remember um, when they like, they like, the only thing that was different about Zoog 2.0 is they updated like the character models. Yeah, they did, and they were weirder. Yeah. if I recall. Go go look up Zoogs if Do you've you, never heard of them. They did, make no sense. Did you watch Zoogs? No, Jacob? I don't. I don't think I did. I you don't, don't like watch was... the Zoogs. The Zoogs well, were just like the announcers. The Zoogs watch you. Use <laughs> <laughs> on Disney Channel. Zoog watch you. Um. So no, I'm not talking about Zoog Disney though. Okay. Even though good. It was cool. Uh, what I was gonna focus on is what happened. I want to say around 8 p.m. at night. Uh, okay. Is it, it would change hands from Zoog Disney to Vault Disney. Yes. Um, mm. which had this great little weird intro that was full of weird stuff that I had no exposure to before this. Right. These really uh, kind of old specials that they didn't do anymore, um, like uh, the the Wonderful World of Color. Um, these like really long Donald Duck educational things that I loved. Loved those. Those were so great. Mm-hmm. The do, like adventures you, in math. Land. Yes, the math land. I yeah. Was talk about that. <laughs> that was something that. I like really loved and I didn't I had never seen anything like it it was so unusual I think it was the only kid that really appreciated it out of my siblings I take that back because my sister loved Zorro okay she adored Zorro Mm. and that was also my first introduction to that it was Um, on Vault Disney yeah because so it was this mix of like these old Disney things but also these old TV shows uh, like Zorro or the Mickey Mouse Club Uh uh-huh um, which you don't like. I do not like the Mickey Mouse Club. I do not like the Mickey really? Mouse Club. Yeah, dislike. Did you ever mm. watch the original Mickey Mouse Club, Jacob? Yeah, some. I right. was once a much more uh, cynical person, which I know is hard to believe. <laughs> Calm down. Uh, and uh, the Mickey Mouse Club, as soon as it came on and everybody was like peppy and smiling and everything, and I was like, oh, no. Uh, I, yeah, I much I much more preferred Zorro or the Lone Ranger and stuff like that. Right. I mean, that was great stuff, and I loved that too. But I did watch the Mickey Mouse Club. It reminded me a little bit of Lawrence Welk, another show I watched oh, as a child ne- a lot. Never watched with that With my either. grandparents. Welcome, um, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I love the Lawrence <laughs> Welk show. <laughs> the only That's thing I know Welk about impression. it is from, yeah, SNL. <laughs> Um, um, we, uh, I, I work at deal. PBS here, and uh, we we run that sometimes. You you run the actual show? Mm-hmm. Is that so? Yeah. I mean, that's where I watched it. Was on PBS. Yeah, it was good stuff. But I uh, have the Mickey uh, Mouse... copies of the show on my computer at work. <laughs> Do you watch them at your leisure? Mm-hmm. All the time. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, well, it's the Mickey Mouse Club kind of had similar things, where it was just like a variety show, mm-hmm. and you just watch little things, a little like skits and dances. I don't know. I was enthralled. I loved it. I liked the idea of it. I wanted to be a Mouseketeer. Like, you got to tap dance. Now, I definitely sing. wanted to be a Mouseketeer. You seemed to get to hang out with cool people and do right. fun things. I it just didn't great. like watching them do it. Okay, that's fair. You're just jealous. I get it. Okay. Yes. Oh. That was it. <laughs> I'm, I'm jealous. Annette? <laughs> <laughs> Coming for you. Annette was my favorite. Yeah, Annette was everybody's favorite. I and the only one anyone She's can so name. Pretty. Except out, outside of, like, modern... Trivia, like, well, did you know Bernie Spears on the Mickey Mouse Club? That is true. Now, I didn't yes. watch any of that Mickey Mouse no, Club, by the way. I don't think anybody did. Yeah, somebody had later... to. Yeah, well, somebody it, had to. It had and to it was have been like Disney people executives. that are maybe like 10 years older than us. Maybe. I don't know. If you watched the second iteration of the Mickey Mouse Club, let us know. Yes, and if you watched the Mickey Mouse Club instead of the Miskey Mouse Club, <laughs> uh, let us know about that, too. No, you're not supposed to call people out on that, David. We're recording. Oh my god. <laughs> so. Um, so anyway, back to Walt Disney. Um, yeah, what I also really loved from it are uh, a pretty wide array of movies that they would show at night. Okay. Um, that are this this weird era of live action Disney films that I I can't even really describe well. There was like 
that darn cat huh. and um, like the original Flubber, which is the absent-minded professor, or uh, the ugly dachshund was one of my favorites. Never seen that one. I saw the other two. Yeah. Um, what's that? Wait, that darn cat. Okay, wait. No, there's a movie about a cat that's an alien. Not that one. That's it's not, not that, darn, that cat. darn cat. That darn cat is like a murder mystery. It's some, I can't remember the name of it now, but I'm going to have to look that up. There's a movie about a cat that is an alien, and it talks to them. It has a glowy I, collar. Yes, and there, I feel like I remember this. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm not crazy. Yeah, I don't, I don't um, like you're making it up. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that vote of confidence. <laughs> I swear it exists. Oh, are you, are you remembering it? Is that in Men in Black? Uh, no, I think there's there's dogs. There's like the no. Bug there is like... a cat that is cat has like the the galaxy, galaxy on, its on its collar. Oh yeah, it's very similar, but I think the color just glows and has a galaxy in it. But no, no, I and mean also like the in, the, in the in the weird oh, yeah. in the weird cat movie. Not a Disney movie. <laughs> no, in the weird cat movie, it's it just glows. Yes, On, only glowing. No, I'm gonna have to look that up. Okay, but anyway, uh, just great us. stuff like that. Um, and we'll put it in the description below. <laughs> That's what YouTube say, right? Yeah, I think so. They just point, and then things appear. By the way, if you're listening to the audio version of this, find us on YouTube. You can oh, see our yeah. faces. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't really uh, describe that. Sorry, we are also recording a video. I wasn't gonna describe it because it was gonna be seamless. I'm so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You've ruined the illusion. <laughs> Never ruin the magic. I broke the number one Disney world yes. rule. So what about Vault Disney struck you as a kid and for you is something that um, exemplifies a Disney connection right. in a way that other things can't? So uh, I think what this speaks to is a depth of Disney that I was unaware of mm. and hit me at, I feel like, just the right time where um, I really could appreciate the things that, uh, you know, they, were, they weren't really aimed at, like, kid kids. Um, the Vault Disney had a, a higher, a, you know, like a higher age bracket in mind with this. And I think I fell within that. And it was this idea that these things were created so long ago um, that still related to me. And I still found them so interesting. Right. Um, so I just feel like that's that's something that Disney uh, has been amazingly successful at is regardless of when it was created, like, you know, Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, those are way before we were born. We can still appreciate them now and future generations will also appreciate them and this is very similar it was just something that i would have never come in contact with mm -hmm. um if they just didn't have this weird special every night yeah um so it was great i'm so glad that they did that i probably would have never seen some of the stuff i saw if yeah. they hadn't jacob do you have any um any vault disney uh, experience was that was How that do you just remember like vault disney <laughs> slightly uh, after your time or before uh, your time yes i was young though I was I was a wee child uh, whenever that was was happening, but yeah, uh, I think that's probably part of uh, either consciously or subconsciously why I'm so interested in Disney history, mm -hmm. uh, right? Yeah, because you know, it, on it give you like, wow, look how long they've been doing stuff. This stuff exactly. is so old, <laughs> and they would, uh, you know, they would play like Wonderful World of Color, yes. and yes, yeah, and, you know, the Wonderful World of Disney, and all these kind of uh, Walt Disney Presents, and all this stuff mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. um, you know, watching like The Lion King, you don't, you hear it's Disney, and you see the Walt Disney Pictures thing on it, but you don't mm -hmm. know who Walt Disney is, right? And then as a kid right. getting to watch and be like, hey, that. That's Walt that's Disney. The like there he is. That's He's his, talking right to me. Yeah. He's got the name. Yeah. That was really cool. Yeah. I loved like when you would go, it would be in his office and he'd have like models or stuff behind him and he'd be telling you about the cool stuff they were doing. It, it was, was really cool. It was great. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite things. I did. I loved Zorro. Uh, watched that. And, and Walt Disney was a, was a neat thing. I will admit that there were times where I was like mad when it came on. <laughs> Because I was like, now I would like to keep watching cartoons, please. Uh, you know, where's the where's the Disney Channel original movie? Um, but uh, mm -hmm. there were several things I discovered on that. There were several old movies watching that uh, on there that I, I never would have uh, come into contact with otherwise. And yeah, I right. do. I agree with you. I think it's one of the reasons we are here today doing this uh, and enjoying, uh, you know, 
the fruits of the the company uh, mm-hmm. that you know Disney has produced uh, are going all the way back. Right. Yeah. A little so, window to the past. A window to the a vault, to it's, no. The where are you going with this? Yester. That's it. Year. Uh. What about a Disney vault. <laughs> it's a Disney vault. Not vault to be Disney. confused with. The actual Disney vault. By the way, if the you want to Google and try to figure out the lineup of Vault Disney, you will get a lot of things about the Disney vault. It's gross. Uh, <laughs> that's where they keep the platinum edition of The Little Mermaid. That's true. In the vault. They only Different let it vault. out for one week every four years. We should uh, <laughs> plan like a Mission Impossible style breakout yes, of the Disney of vault. The vault. And get all uh, the a Disney DVDs vault of, heist. of Disney we movies. We should... Uh, uh, write this down and uh, also copyright and, and TM and uh, okay. everything. That's so how that works. You, you just say those things you just and say then they're them, true. And now it's true. Uh, we're going to write write a movie uh, where you break into the Disney vault and you Ooh, steal stuff. That's good. Out of it. All right. Let's, let's uh, do that. I'm sure it will go really well. And, and then, no one will send us letters from their lawyers. And then you realize uh, the magic was friendship the whole time. <laughs> oh, that's it. Wait, this vault's empty. This, oh, it oh was us. God. That was the lesson. <laughs> uh, so that'll do it for this week's uh, Disney Connection. Thank you, Aaron. Um, catch us next time and find out. Uh, it's going to be Jacob's turn next uh, Ooh, okay. to find out what he uh, thinks is a Disney Connection. So okay. uh, come come back for that. Uh, and that'll do it for the podcast this week. So thank you all for uh, listening in. Uh, if you want to leave us some feedback, uh, check us out at uh, kingdom to kingdom pod at gmail.com. Write us a letter. Uh, I'll, I'll read the letter and uh, an maybe read it uh, on the air. Yes, an electronic letter. Uh, <laughs> also, from the internet. Yes, and speaking of the internet, you can send us uh, some stuff on social media, uh, some messages, usually. Uh, the letters don't work as well through there because it's uh that's not what the social media works with nope um but we're on facebook instagram and twitter at k2k podcast and we have a patreon that's patreon.com slash kingdom to kingdom thanks guys join us next week for another episode of ask the dishes (laughs) 